your eminences your ex excellencies ladies and gentlemen and my dear friends giving all praise and honor to god let me first of all say how deeply blessed i am to be here invited by the pontifical academy of sciences it is especially an honor to be in the new synod hall in the midst of the splendid vatican gardens i am grateful for this invitation and applaud holy father pope francis humanitarian vision we are gathered here today to discuss one of his holiness priorities and one of the major challenges faced by the communities and nations climate change and modern slavery dear friends let me begin my talk by quoting mahatma gandhi earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs but not every man's greed this prophetical line speaks volumes about the environmental and social disaster that is looming large on our planet it is widely agreed that climate change is likely to be accompanied by increased climate variability and by an increased risk of extreme events and uh, surprises while the earth remains seed time and harvest cold and heat day and night sh shall not cease says chapter 8 of genesis in the holy bible coming to the indian context it is reported that this year will be a drought year a rainfall will will below 90 percentage which will affect the farmers who have faced five consecutive crop failure either due to too little or too much rain in situations like this the rural farmers are unable to find financial resources to support the need of their household pushing them into the dark dungeons of slavery adverse living condition in rural areas force people to leave their homes to find job in urban areas lack of education and vulnerable to exploitation for the daily wage workers slums provide them with low cost accommodation and food in cities where housing has become unaffordable thus when we examine the grass root level of aspects like slums houses issues lack of education the poverty in rural areas as a result of unfavorable climatic and social conditions the bhagavad gita the holy scripture of the hindu gives a clear direction on man environment relationship and the need to a need of giving back to nature by everyone for so sustained by sacrifice the gods will give you the food for your desire who so enjoy the gift yet gives nothing is a thief no more nor less the gita says the negative socio economic condition of the population is nothing but an aftermath of this human induced environmental degradation coupled with the depriving hierarchical social system based on one's birth the urge to conquer dominate and enslave fellow human beings and all our structure itself has been a defining quality of man through the ages the forms and systems of enslavement have differed in place and time my country had one of the worst forms of slavery known to man the caste system it is an enslavement of the heart and mind culture and governance system over centuries the vast majority was to make believe that to be subjugated is sacred and good gandhi ji taught us that the struggle for freedom was not only against foreign rule but also from liberation from the stranglehold hold of caste and all forms of oppression in a nutshell all elements of modern slavery including bonded labor child slavery early and forced marriages forced labor decent based slavery prostitution and trafficking are vogue of vogue in this social milieu in one of the surveys conducted in the recent past showed that india has most slaves in the world nevertheless india has promulgated a number of key laws relevant to modern slavery right to education act whereby the authorities are required to ensure all children of school going age are in school it is important and is the integrated child protection scheme which is making a real under the bonded labor system abolition act bonded labor has been criminalized in india in 2005 the government of india introduced a revolutionary law named mahatma gandhi Na national rural employment guarantee act 
which guarantee the right to work, ensuring 100 days of wage employment for every household, changing the socio-economic condition of the rural India. There are many institutions and individuals who have been advocating the cause of marginalized, the modern slaves of the Indian society, and their efforts are making real uh, changes. This year's Nobel Peace Laureate Kailash Satyardi is one among who leads a movement to end child slavery and child labor. Beneath the dark clouds, we begin to see a ray of hope. Things will change for better sooner than later. The city of Koji is the state in the state of Kerala, and the state lies in the southern western corner of our country. The socio-economic condition of the state is quite different from the rest of the country, owing to the geographical setting progressive outlook of the people of the state. The serious issues affecting the city is the global projection of climate change, which indicates that the globally average sea level will rise significantly by the middle of the century, perhaps as much as 0.9 meter, while the city area averages only 1.5 meters above the mean sea level. This change is going to pose a big threat to the very survival of the city. Change and its impact is not always easy, talking about it even less. Unfamiliar technical terms, abstract concepts, difficulty to relate to discussion happening at a global level and far away level make it difficult to understand what kind of consequences climate change will concretely have on your city and your citizens. In addition, every often the people who are most affected by the impact of climate change are those with the least access to information on what is happening and how they can adapt to it. So is the case of modern slavery. This workshop on modern slavery and climate change, which brings together cities across the globe to discuss these issues has come as a very good platform like Kochi, which is trying to address both these issues on a war footing, devising many projects and uh, programs. The encyclical of His Holiness has generated worldwide attention to these issues. Our cities will have to commit ourselves to this biggest challenge of our time. I'm sure this workshop, which calls upon the active contribution of the local governments in their fight against both uh, climate change and modern slavery, will be able to give cities and nations proper direction and orientation in addressing them. I firmly believe that it is difficult to bring about change single-handedly, but together we could take strong steps forward to fight modern slavery and climate change. I'm sure the desired objective of this workshop, which is to put more pressure on the UN to make sure that the new sust sustainable development goals will give enough priority in treating modern slavery and human trafficking against humanity will be attained by our collective efforts. Scientific data and facts have made it clear that it is the sum total of the individual action of the 7 billion people on the planet that collectively impacts climate change. Hence, any and every effort to undo the damage has to start from the bottom, the villages and the cities where all human actions take place. Modernism, driven by naked greed, wrong priorities, and socially misleading advertising is taking the planet to the point of no return. Coastal cities like Cochin are already facing the effects of sea level rise and change in monsoon patterns. Coping with this is a phenomenal task. Mankind has the resources to take on the challenge. I am supremely confident that we can. The, religious, the religions of the world that hold sway over the hearts and minds of the men, the global bodies like the UN and the governments should sit down and draw up action plans which should be backed by sustainable mechanism and funding. The local governments can convert them into action on the ground. The word has to go out. It is now or never. There may not be a replay. Let me conclude by ex uh, extending my heartfelt uh, gratitude to the Pontifical Academy of Sciences for to be part of such an important and relevant uh, symposium and workshop. A word of uh, gratitude to also due to Amma Mada Amradhanadamai, a spiritual leader from India, 
who was also a signatory of the joint declaration of leaders against modern slavery along with his holiness and other important world religious leaders before this august audience let me once again reiterate the commitment of the city of kochi in addressing all issues pertaining to climate change and modern uh, slavery and also our commitment to join institutions and individuals who works to expose this cause thank you for listening uh, thank you for all thank you very much <laughs> 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 <laughs>